Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. You may have noticed that there's something a little bit different about me. That's right, I got a haircut. And I did it for good reason too. I gotta look good for my appearance as a special media guest at TantrumCon 2022. <laughs> TantrumCon is an awesome convention in Charlotte, North Carolina, hosted by the Tantrum House crew, and Liz and I are super excited to be attending at the end of February. There's so many games to play and a ton of awesome events to participate in, so if you want to know more of what I'm excited about for TantrumCon 2022, then might I suggest... Hi, I'm Alex from Might I Suggest a Game, a channel devoted to helping you find your perfect board game. Today, like I mentioned before, I'm going to be giving you a preview of TantrumCon 2022. But before we get into the meat and potatoes of the whole thing, I want to give a shout out to Jazz from the Lobby of Hobbies. Jazz is only a few subscribers away from 1,000 subscribers, and he recently shared the love by mentioning our channel on his latest video. So if you're subscribed to me and you don't subscribe to the Lobby of Hobbies, you're really missing out. And if you're not subscribed to me either, then what are you doing? Hit that subscribe link below, and while you're at it, hit that little bell button too so you can get notified when I post new content. I really appreciate the love and I want to share that love with all of my fellow board game content creators. So be generous with that subscribe button. I promise you won't regret it. Anyways, let's get back into it. I want to start out by giving a big thanks to the Tantrum House crew who have graciously given Liz and I these media passes to give us full access for the whole weekend. I love the videos that Tantrum House makes. They've definitely been a big inspiration for me in this YouTube space, and I can't wait to meet all of them in person. I'm hoping to get to interview as many people as possible, just like I did at Origins, so stay tuned for another episode of My You Suggest coming soon. But I'm not just excited about all the people that I get to meet, I'm also excited about so many of the different events that they have going on. I mean, we're talking about Wordle Turn tournaments, a board game flea market, a board game media meetup, swing by if you want to get my autograph. But one of the things I'm most excited about is the tournaments. Now tournaments are a concept that is unique to Tantrum Con. From what I understand, at a tournament you get to eat a delicious meal and you get to play an awesome game at the same time. For me, I'm always looking for more time to play games, so this sounds like a really efficient use of my time. Plus, the games that are featured at these tournaments are being given away, so maybe if you win your table, you'll get a copy of the game to take home. Liz and I are signed up for the Rolling Realms lunch and a dinner turn meal featuring Longshot the Dice Game. Now I haven't heard much about Longshot the Dice Game, but what really drew me into that one is that the dinner is a pizza buffet. How could I say no to that? Anyways, I'm really looking forward to grubbing and gaming at the same time. It'll be the only time that I'll allow these greasy pizza fingers to touch those components. I'm looking forward to opening up the box and being able to smell the memories later. <laughs> But wait, there's more! In addition to the turn meals, Tantrum Con has a ton of other stuff going on. They've also got table flipping contest, they've got a moon pie eating contest, they have a bunch of free tournaments with prizes, plus they've got hundreds of play to win games available for attendees. I'm really excited to try out some of those play to win games, and I took a look at the list beforehand so I know which ones I'll be gunning for. I'll definitely be looking at Viticulture from Stonemeyer Games. I mean, I did a whole video on this game and I don't even own it. I've been playing this classic worker placement game on board game Marina a lot recently, so I figured it would be good to pick up an actual copy. Another one I'm looking forward to trying out is Windward from Play Monster Games. Now the biggest reason why I'm intrigued by this one is I'm pretty sure I know one of the designers of the game. So Hayden Lapiska, if this is the game that you designed and it's the one I'm thinking of, then I want to play your game. That aside, it still looks like a fun sci-fi game with some awesome miniatures, so even if he didn't design it, I'd still be interested in checking it out. The next one that caught my eye was Nidavellir from Hatchet Board Games. I've heard a lot about this card drafting auction style game where you're trying to recruit the best dwarves for your crew and although it's a mechanic that I don't often try that much I feel like it's got enough hype that it deserves at least one play and who knows maybe I'll get to take it home with me I also saw that vivid memories from floodgate games is one of the play to win games as well and although I don't know too much about this abstract strategy game I've seen it pop up a few times on social media and it has me intrigued the art and components look really nice which can be expected from floodgate games so I'm really interested to see what this game's all about it says it's a game about collecting and connecting memories, and that theme immediately has me hooked, so wish me luck. The last one in the play to win games that really stood out to me is Land vs. Sea from Good Games Publishing. A lot of people online were talking about this game being a Carcassonne replacement, and I do love me a good game of car keys, so I want to see how they stack up against each other. Anyways, am I going to win any of these games? Probably not, but if it gives me an excuse to get all of them to the table, then I cannot complain. Anyways, I'm really looking forward to playing some of these play to win games, but I'm also really looking forward to meeting some of the 
publishers that are sponsoring this event. There's a surprising amount of publishers being represented at this event, but for the sake of time, I'm just gonna talk about my top five of those publishers and one of their newer games that I really hope that they bring along for demo. So let's get into it. The first publisher I'm going to talk about is Bezier Games. You may know them from games like Ultimate Werewolf or Castles of Mad King Ludwig, but the game I'm really interested to see from them is Sink or Swim. Sink or Swim is a recently funded Kickstarter from Bezier Games that takes inspiration from synchronized swimming. It's a real-time, cooperative, hand management game where players try to work together to make the perfect synchronized swimming routine. I love these small box games, especially when they're cooperative, and this kind of mechanic reminds me a lot of The Mind and The Crew, both games which I really love. If this game is even half as good as those two games, then I'll definitely have to pick this game up. I'm hoping that they have some production copies there because I was a dummy and missed out on the Kickstarter. But what can you do? I can't pack everything. I don't have money like that. Anyways, moving on. The next publisher I'm going to talk about is one that I already mentioned before. It's Floodgate Games. You may know Floodgate Games from some of their other titles like Sagrada or that Vivid Memories game that I talked about earlier, but a newer game from them that I'm really looking forward to trying out is Decorum. Now, Decorum describes itself as a game of passive-aggressive cohabitation. And I'll be honest, I don't really know what that means. But after having been stuck inside during this COVID pandemic for a really long time, I feel like I could probably relate to this passive aggressive cohabitation. Hey, sorry Liz. Anyways, Decorum is a cooperative hidden information game where players have to decorate their shared home in a way that makes them both happy. Liz and I, like most people that have been cooped up in their houses during the pandemic, have certainly leaned on our fair share of home improvement projects, so it may turn out that this game is autobiographical. Either way, it sounds like a really interesting game, the art and the components look really nice, which like I mentioned before has definitely become the standard for Floodgate games, so I'm hoping they have a copy of this one for me to demo. The next publisher I'll talk about is 25th Century Games. Now I got a chance to meet with Chad from 25th Century Games at Origins last year, and I was really impressed by their wide array of games that they offered, so now I'm always keeping tabs on what's coming next for them. Now if you watch my video on most anticipated games for 2022, you'll know that I mentioned Blazin from 25th Century Games as a game that I'm really excited to try out. Now that game just got funded on Kickstarter really recently, so I don't expect that they'll have production copies of it, but a game that I'm pretty sure they'll have copies of is a game called Three Sisters. Now this charming and crunchy roll and write about backyard farming isn't necessarily a theme that I would always gravitate towards, but personally, I've never tried a little bit heavier of a roll and write game, and this seems like a really good intro into that space. Plus, my Twitter feed is going crazy about this game, so I might as well try it out and see what the hype is all about. It seems like it could be a nice, relaxing game to play in the midst of a pretty busy schedule, so I'm crossing my fingers that they have a copy of this to demo. Anyways, the next publisher I'll talk about is The Op. Now, you may know The Op from games like Telestrations or Hues and Cues, but the game from them that I really want to try out is a new title called Mountains Out of Molehills. The first thing that drew me in is this really interesting two-tiered board that this game introduces. From what I understand, you'll be moving your moles around on the bottom level to affect the abstract puzzle that's happening on the top level, just like moles digging underground. The table presence is really striking, and the strategy seems light enough that I can introduce it to all kinds of different people. To me, that's a mark of a good game and one that could have some staying power in my collection, so I'm definitely interested in checking this one out. Anyways, on to the last one. The last one I'll talk about is my one true love of Stonemaier Games, one of my favorite publishers out there. I'm so excited that they'll be represented at TantrumCon, and I'm really, really hoping to try out a copy of their newly announced game, Libertalia Winds of Galecrest. Now, I didn't play the original Libertalia, so I can't really compare between the two versions, but for me, I'm kind of a fanboy, so anything that says Stonemaier on it, I gotta try. From what I can tell, this game is loosely pirate-themed. You'll be commanding and recruiting a crew in search of adventure, treasure, and glory. I mean, that sounds pretty good to me. I always really appreciate the attention to detail and the production quality of Stonemaier games, and from the pictures that I've seen of this one, Libertalia Winds of Galecrest is no exception. I can't wait to get my hands on this one and try it, and I really hope to be able to give you all a review of this game very soon. Anyways, there's a bunch of other publishers that are going to be at Tantrum Con, and I'm really looking forward to meeting them and learning about all these new games so that I can bring all that information back to you. Alright, now I'm really excited. Are you excited? This is the stuff that really gets me going, so I cannot wait for Tantrum Con 2022, and I'm looking forward to give you all a detailed recap when I get back to Portland. Anyways, wish me luck on the flight. I'll see you guys soon.
Thanks so much for sticking around for my preview of Tantrum Con 2022. It's not too late to pick up a badge, so if you're in the North Carolina area, you should consider it. I mean, come on, don't you want to hang out with me and Liz? Anyways, if you're going to be at Tantrum Con, we'll see you there. And if you're not, we'll try to make sure that our content means that you can live vicariously through us. Anyways, thanks so much to everyone who supported this channel so far. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe so I can keep growing this channel and keep helping you find your perfect board game. Once again, this has been a Mind I Suggested Game production, and I'm Alex, your board game sommelier, signing off.